When it comes to providing Sharia-compliant banking, few Western countries can compete with the UK. There are entities like the Islamic Bank of Britain, which opened in 2004. Its eight branches only offer services that comply with Muslim principles for its nearly 60,000 customers. To be Sharia compliant, a committee of Muslim scholars certifies these financial products won't pay interest and won't, for instance, invest in tobacco or defense firms. Britain's big retail banks have taken notice. Lloyd's TSB now offers these products to individuals and companies in each and every of its 2,000 branches. Uh, we have the Islamic Current Account, the Islamic Child Trust Fund, Islamic Mortgage, both sit in, all three of them sit in the, 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 the retail sector. We then have um, Islamic uh, Business Accounts, Islamic Corporate Accounts. Ahmed says Islamic banking attracts two types of people. Those who are using conventional banking, but switched to Sharia compliant products when available. And those who did most of their banking in cash but needed to comply with new money laundering laws. That, I think, helped towards causing, uh, creating the demand, if you like, for uh, Islamic finance, because these people were saying, well, look, for many years we've used cash. We don't really want to go into conventional banking. We want an account that won't pay interest. However, the situation here in the United States is in huge contrast to the UK. Though the regulatory regime allows for Islamic banking, few banks from here and from abroad take advantage of it. Experts say that has led to a huge untapped market. Abdi Shayaste helped ease the way for Islamic banking while working at the New York Federal Reserve. Now he advises private clients on creating Islamic friendly products. But it's been frustrating. The question is where are the foreign banks, where are the bigger banks, and why aren't they coming into the United States? Um, there seems to be this misperception out there that the U.S. is perhaps Islamophobic, that they relate Islamic finance to terrorist financing. He also wants the U.S. to attract Muslim investment money that fled after 9-11. We want to attract capital from the Gulf, the liquidity that's been created over the rise in oil prices in the last few years. We want to attract that here. So Islamic finance, Islamic banking is certainly a means to do that as well, too. When it comes to retail banking, Shayeste says if U.S. firms followed the British model, some six million Americans would take up Sharia-compliant products, if only they could. Jim Bolton, CNN, New York.